Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Hook I have here on the vise is a Daiichi 1180 size 16. Thread we're going to need is dark brown uni 80. Start the thread near the eye and wrap it on back nice and tight. You want a good base to tie this fly on. To make the body, I use a River Roads Stonefly Wing Cutter um, to do a size 16 and 14. This is the size 12, the smallest cutter they make. And I just use black craft foam. To cut through the foam quickly, heat the blade a little bit just with a lighter. Don't make it too hot, but just hot enough. Pressing down firmly. And it's just a simple matter of ripping this body off. And then this will be your stone fly body. Then we're going to take our body we cut. And I want it about half the half the hook cap hanging off the back here. Just a tiny bit. You don't want much. Pinch and loop. Again, pinch and loop. Nice and tight. See how it's sitting. Looking good. Two tight wraps. And then another two in front of that. And do the same thing. Nice and tight. Two to go. And two more up. Nice and tight. And same thing. Nice and tight. And we can snip away the excess here. Get your blades or your scissors. You can see the tips are going right at the top of the body there. Cut that off level with that. We don't need to cover all this down. Advance the thread to the eye, bring it on back. Come up on top of there. Then you have your stone bo fly body complete. Get some z -Lon. This is Craig Matthew z -Lon from Blue Ribbon Flies. You get a good amount for a good price. But it comes in hanks. Cut yourself off a hang, a piece from the hank. Then simply split the hank in half. Now we'll tie in the underwing of the Z-Line. Pull out some extra thread, press it around the thread, and fold it around. Bring it on top, wrap over top of it, pull them to the sides, and wrap back, figure eight back over it. Tying them down and on the sides. Cut yourself a hank of poly yarn. And then divide it in half. We'll tie in the poly wing. Same way. Fold it around the thread. Bring it in on top. Pull them to the side. Same thing as the underwing. And you can pull these straight so that you can tighten down. And just tidy up this area here. 
Now we're going to tie in the hackle. Pull back the base of the feather and simply snip off the ends to reveal a tie, to have a tie in point. Tie it in right at the base where those wings are. And wrap forward. Keep your thread there. Now we're going to dub. Get some black super fine dubbing. You won't need much. Once you have your thread dubbed, you can wind your dubbing back and over to finish with your thread just behind the hook eye. And we can wind our hackle. Three turns is enough. Catch it over with one, keep your thread nice and tight. Tie it off with the hackle standing up. This will prevent hackles from going in front of the hook eye. Take two quick turns at the eye, keeping your thread tight. So you can snip off your access hackle and then whip finish to complete the fly. Three turn whip is plenty. There's two parts here. We're going to cut the wings dead even with the back of this body. Stonefly wings don't extend past the body. We're going to pull these off to the sides. Just pull them firmly and they'll get into position. They'll stay there as well. Then we're going to stroke this hackle up. We don't want this guy to ride on his tippy toes, and he will if we leave the hackle like that. So just cut a V into it, and he'll nestle down there in the film. And that's the flutter stone. Fish this anytime you see uh, at this time of the year, which is February. Uh, fish it straight through. Um, until mid-March. This fly will even work during the summer. It leaves an excellent footprint impression on the water that drives the trout nuts. If the trout don't seem to be interested on a dead drift with it, try twitching it a little bit. Do an induced take. Usually they'll just come right up and grab it, especially at this time of the year. But it's a great floating fly. You can even, I also still will soak them in the hydro stop to stop any, uh, to waterproof them. But that's the flutter stone. I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my site, www.utahsflycorner.com. Thanks for watching.